It's the second most common surgery performed on women in the United States, hysterectomy. In fact, one third of women will have this procedure. For years, hysterectomy has been the standard treatment for a number of conditions afflicting women, including cancer, endometriosis, and chronic pelvic pain. And while it's still the standard of care, the way hysterectomy is performed has changed dramatically. The old traditional way of performing hysterectomy is, is through what's called a laparotomy or a large incision. The problem with the old way is uh, recovery. It, it's a very intrusive um, surgery and the recovery is anywhere from six to eight weeks. Uh, normal hospital stay is anywhere from three to four days. So, And pain. Uh, there's significant uh, pain with, with open laparotomy surgery. With the advancement of technology, it allows access into a patient through small cannula ports, anywhere from five millimeters to 10 millimeters, allows us access to the surgery that we need to do. Um, and the other is, is uh, technology in the form of energy. Um, instead of using electric cautery, which is old fashioned, we actually have devices now that use alternative energy. The harmonic scalpel uses sound wave. Uh, that technology allows us to seal, cut, and clamp without having to use suture, without having to pull up tissue, and so it's much more uh, uh, safe for the patient, and, and, and the recovery and the pain is much less as well. Minimally invasive surgeries deliver faster recovery times and reduced risk of infection. For Diane Darvey, choosing the minimally invasive technique was an easy decision. The minimally invasive procedure for my hysterectomy was definitely a better decision. It was a less invasive surgery with a shorter downtime. My recovery was um, very quick. Uh, about five, five days I was feeling like myself again and after 10 to 12 days I was able to you know walk around and do more of the um, activities that I'm used to doing. Even with all of the benefits of minimally invasive hysterectomy the minority of these surgeries are performed this way. Why? Because most patients don't know it's an option. Dr. Warren Volker performs 95% of his surgeries using a minimally invasive technique and says that more doctors need to offer it to their patients. Unfortunately, in women's health surgery, specifically hysterectomy, uh, women don't have as much access to minimally invasive approach because the majority of OBGYNs that are performing gynecological surgery are either not trained or not skilled to do it. So, in fact, uh, less than 22% of hysterectomies are performed by minimally invasive approach in this country. Dr. Volker advises women to speak up for their own care. If they demand minimally invasive hysterectomy, doctors will be forced to undergo the advanced training needed to perform it. The advice I'd give a, a patient if, if they're faced with the need for hysterectomy is when they have that sit down with their surgeon is ask them how they perform it. And if they're offered just a traditional open hysterectomy, then ask, is it something that I, I am a candidate for? Uh, is it something that the surgeon performs? And if, it's, if not offered, I think a, a second opinion to find somebody who is a minimally invasive surgeon and get a second opinion. Dr. Warren Volker is a driving force behind advancements in surgery. As the CEO and chairman of the American Institute of Minimally Invasive Surgery, Dr. Volker trains other surgeons in his innovative surgical techniques. Dr. Volker is a widely respected specialist in women's health issues and has a personal passion for delivering the highest level of care to his patients. What really attracted me to women's health um, was the diversity and, and the evolution of, of all these new technologies that have come out, especially in surgical care. A lot of things nowadays in medicine are pushed by patients, patients being informed of choices and options. Years ago, you know, there was, wasn't a lot of choice on how we did things. We, we did things in one or two different ways, now there's multiple choices and I think every, every woman should have access to, to the best surgery, the best procedures. Dr. Volker's patients benefit from both his expertise and caring bedside manner. I opted for the minimally invasive procedure because I'm a very active person. And the benefit of having the surgery in a short time period for recovery was very important to me. I went in for surgery on a Thursday. I was discharged within 24 hours and went home 
within 24 hours. I was up walking the very next day after the 24 hours, and I was back at work on Tuesday after the long weekend. Dr. Volker told me what I could expect, and the, the expectations for his minimally invasive surgery was delivered on 100%. It was a bump in a week that was amazing to me, considering that it is major surgery to have a hysterectomy, and he made it as simple as possible. The first time I met Dr. Volker, he had a relaxed presence about him, and I felt very comfortable and choosing him as a doctor and keeping him as a doctor moving forward. And as I was meeting with him and discussing um, you know, about my options, I've learned that the minimally invasive surgery for my hysterectomy was the best way to go and that he was the best doctor to stay with. If you need hysterectomy, there's no more experienced surgeon than Dr. Warren Volker. Visit us online at volkerhealthcare.com.